Hey, you got Fox here. Today, our review of Big Willie Lanier, 99 middle linebacker on the squad for the boosts. We'll talk about boosts in a minute. It's, it's a, a big factor in why you want to choose this card. Uh, let's go through the stats here. 91 speed on a six foot one middle linebacker. Solid user for the speed, the height, a little bit. Uh, a pretty good ratio right there. 99 tackling with the physical front boost. Uh, 97 play rec, 96 block shed again, physical front. Uh, Pursuit 97, zone coverage 92, stock over 91 zone coverage, gorgeous 99 hit power on the card, physical front style. So I, I've repeated that three times, the physical front. And, that, and that's one of the reasons why I think Lanier, you would choose this card over Singletary or Shads. I think those are his two biggest, uh, I would say, uh, competitions, competition for, uh, two of the biggest competition for his middle linebacker spot. Now, both those cards are much less than this card at the moment. Maybe this card goes down, maybe it goes up. I, I, don't, I don't know. Either way. Um, the biggest difference between these cards... Well, well, secure tackler and Singletary, and then Shaz has plus two speed on Lanier. So Singletary's the slowest, but does best against the run because of the secure tackle. But the thing is, like you'll see through these highlights, Lanier never really had an issue with bringing guys down tackling uh, for for tackling reasons. Um, but but I think still I'd rather go with the secure cam. Um, just because uh, I feel more secure as he just missed the tackle right there. I just said that it didn't feel too much pressure. But. Um, so, Shaz has got the speed. Shaz is the best user uh, combo. Uh, uh, the best user of the three. Singletary, I, I, you have to get him to read and react cam. So, Singletary can't get to the 99 hit power, uh, which is his main negative because you need that read and react cam. So, if you want to max out physical front and you need this card here, if you want to get... So, so with, with Lanier in that lineup, you don't need Motivator Tyron to get your middle linebacker 91. Then you, you also are able to use physical front chem. So it's kind of like building on each other for, for why this card is better than both Singletary and Shaz. So it's kind of like trade off. So if you're going to ask me straight up, which one would I rather have? I think the issue, it, it always comes down to it depends. And really, it, it's so hard. And that's what one of the beauties of MUD is a lot of the lineup construction. Like I was asked all over this weekend when I was streaming, which one would I take out of those three? And like, again, like it depends. So I think I might. I'm really borderline if I want to go back to Singletary now because if I go back to Singletary and get his um, tier three, or, or, or if I get his uh, zone coverage boost, the the read and react boost, then I lose tier five physical front, or I have to make some changes. So, so I might just stick with Lanier long term to keep him, but. Man, I don't know. That secure tackler and Cam's are so dang important in this game. And I feel like you'll, you'll see a couple of these plays here where if Lanier had Shaz's speed, he might have been able to make the play. If he had that extra two speed, he might have been able to get there. There is not going to ball down. Um, be, being a perfect, uh, a gorgeous man in, in, in coverage there. And again, woo, just diving. We almost got the pick, but it was fourth and long. So no biggie, no harm, no foul, right? And woo, there's a diving pick. So overall, though, Lanier made it. As you've seen the, during this highlight, this is uh, from this weekend. He's made a ton of. He made a ton of plays for me as a user. I don't think you're sacrificing anything going to this card. I mean, obviously you're sacrificing a little if you were usering bar. And the thing is, well, Lanier's versatility between being able to like a, a cover two deep middle linebacker and also being able to be somebody in any other kind of coverage, user him, play against the run, very solid all around because he's got the play rec, the the zone coverage like I've talked so extensively about, hit power so high, block shed. Also, only being at 90 versus like Singletary's 96. Maybe he's not as great against the run in that. Uh, but overall, like he'll diagnose the run very well. 97 pursuit, getting to the, getting to the run, and and so on and so forth. The the traits on the card: clutch, no, too bad. High motor, yes, great. Big hitter, yes, awesome. You need that, especially with the high hit power that the CPU is going to be throwing those hit sticks. Strip ball, yes, great traits. Play ball on air, balanced. Um, so overall, everything. The, the only negative you could say about this card is the price and the he, he's not able to rush the passer. So if you ever send like a blitz from your middle linebacker slot, Lanier is not the guy you want to put on that blitz. You almost might, might want to sub him out because I think like there's some DBs with better pass rush moves and power moves 76 and finesse moves 72 on Lanier. So that is really a main limitation of this card. But really, most middle linebackers Backers outside of say Ray Lewis have terrible power or finesse moves. Uh, you could go up to Shaz's 89 power move, but still, that's not going to beat too many guards if they take him head on head. It's going to dominate a running back, of course. So Lanier, that's his main weakness. But overall, uh, the middle linebacker play, like right here, oh, I feel like that's a play Shaz actually makes. That so that's that's one example of something that he's not able to do. And, and Singletary might get off that block there, but otherwise, Lanier, because his price is so high, I'm going to knock him down. But overall, at 10 without price consideration, 9.5 with price consideration, 8.9. Thanks for watching. Call to action. I'll see you tomorrow.